So how do you think the Damian Lillard Adidas deal will impact the basketball footwear landscape? You know, I think he's a real talent. Um, I think they, they, they have a, a real property there. Um, that said, I think they're probably paying him too much money um, for what they're going to be able to get out of, out of him in terms of a property. Um, and I think that will force them to try to make this brand, this name really commercial. Um, so it will be interesting to see how it develops. But um, I, I have an opinion that, that basketball players don't earn the kind of payback that they used to back in the day and um, uh, that brands need to be very careful about how big an investment they make on an individual player. So how do you think this year's Easter collection will compare to last year's in terms of like the Nike releases? I don't know that. I, I, I don't study those. That, that's, that would be in the non-commercial area of, the, of, of what I don't bother looking at. So do you, are you familiar with the term hype beast? Sure. Okay. Uh, what's your take on hype beast? Well, you know, I, I think they're, they're, it's interesting that sort of the old school collectors, the old school sneakerheads are looking down on the younger kids coming up and uh, who are, they think are just jumping on the bandwagon of, uh, of um, you know, a, 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 a collecting marketplace that's been going on for a long, long time. Um, you know, I look, I, I think it's great that young kids are, are coming in and trying to understand what's happening in the marketplace, and um, but they don't have the history. Um, I don't know that that's a reason to look down on them. I, ju I just think it's, it's yet another generation of kids coming up. Do you think they'll ruin the image of the sneaker culture? No, I, I really think the reseller market is has is more of a threat to the uh, sneaker culture market. Uh, sneaker culture. Um, um, I think the fact that people are profiteering, um, uh, you know, I think that's part of why we've seen the isolated instances of violence uh, at some releases. Is it's it's about it's about the resale market that's really driven that. So, with the European style becoming more prevalent these days, do you believe the sneaker culture will die out ever? No, I don't. I, I think that. Um, uh, I think the brands are very innovative in what they do. I think they're very aware of what's happening worldwide. Um, all of these brands are international brands today. Um, and uh, while I think the United States remains the epicenter of sneaker life and sneaker culture, um, I think they're still taking cues from worldwide. I think there's a, there's a constant feedback loop that's happening uh, from around the world. Um, but no, I, I think we'll always, sneakers are always going to be important in the United States and the world.